I open my eyes and I look up at the ceiling. I, I'm sitting in a chair. I, I can't move. What feels like a belt is holding my head in place to his backrest. I move my eyes down. I, I can see a what looks like most of another man's face. His head is also strapped down. I, his eyes were darting from left to right, teeth clenched, struggling to free himself. I, I try to make my own attempts, knowing they would be useless, but trying anyway. The chair is bolted to the floor. It won't move. The man's pretty close to me. If, if we could move, I, I could probably touch him. I, I, I'm scared. I, I have no idea how this will play out. Hey! I say. You know what's going on here? No. I went to sleep and woke up tied to a fucking chair with some asshole in front of me who's apparently in the same fucking situation. Stupid question, I suppose. Hey, can you move anything besides your eyes and mouth? He tries again. Just my fingers and toes. Damn much that can do. Okay. It looks like we're stuck here until whoever did this decides to do what they're doing. So, what's your name? Mike. I'm Chuck. I'm curious about this man. Why is he here with me? C can you think of any reason why you're here? Did, did you hurt anyone or steal from any anything? Man, I never done anything. Couple speeding tickets, that's it. You think someone would at least tell you why they kidnapped you? I, I can't think of anything either. I say truthfully, I, I look at him and try to see or think if I know him or if I've ever seen him before today. I hadn't. A any chance you recognize me? Don't think so. Alright. <laughs> We're two innocent strangers. I, I guess it's just random. I pick the first person that they happen to get, and but, but for what? I look around as much as I can. The ceiling is high. I, ca I can't see any walls. There's a spotlight high over our head illuminating us. All my fingers can feel the edges of the armrest. I, I can't hear anything beyond my own breathing and the attempted movements of my newfound companion. What could have brought us here? Is this torture? Is this? Is there some psychotic force that brought us together? Whatever it is, I, I can feel my in my gut. Someone's gonna die. Hopefully not me. Shit! Ow! God! I, I just cut myself, I think. Something hard and sharp was around my right arm. I look back down at him. It's a strain to keep my eyes pointed down so far. He's staring at me, panic, mouth wide open and panting. I, I move my arms as much as I can. Ah! Feels like straps or, or something that's holding down my left arm. And middle bands around my right. What the hell? What are they going to? A loud screaks of defeating sound and the speakers crackle and a booming noise is heard. Good evening, gentlemen. As you no doubt have discovered, you've all been restrained, and now a part of our little game. Between you is a table, and on the table is a gun, and sometime the restraints on your right arm will be released. The first to get the gun and kill the other will win their own life. An associate will put you to sleep and you will be released as a free man. <laughs> the other will be disposed of, never to be bothered again. If neither of you shoot the gun within five minutes, your restraint after your restraints have been released, an electrical shock will be sent through your chairs, killing you both. Quite painfully, in fact. It's better for one to live than both to die. So, we wait. For, I waited for the restraints to be released, but it doesn't come. What the fuck, Chuck? I, I, I guess we'll have to wait. Maybe they want us to get to know the man we're gonna have to kill. Ah, oh, goddamn. I don't want to kill anyone, but I sure as hell don't want to die. Well, would you rather kill me or die? That's the important question. Is your life worth the death of someone else? C could you live your life knowing you murdered someone? It's just so you can live? No. I'd rather die than kill someone. But I'd rather live and not kill even more. I feel the same, Mike. 
But unless you think we could untie ourselves if in five minutes, with only one hand, I, I, I don't see how we could. He was silent for a moment. I, I couldn't figure what he was thinking, but... Yeah. What if we could? What? How, how could I trust that we actually have five minutes? How could I trust you? If I reach over to untie myself, how do I know you won't go for the fucking gun? Like I said, I'd rather die than kill someone. A shot at us both living is better than the alternative. I, I, I guess it's the only way not to be a murderer. I smiled, even though I knew he couldn't see me. I trust you, and you can trust me too, alright? So that was our plan. We'll attempt to free ourselves and hope we can do it in time. I know I'm not going to be getting anywhere off this table before I free myself, and I really think Mike won't try to kill me. I started going over plans to get myself free. Would it be easier to undo like the other arm first? Or would I need to see my other arm in order to free it? If not, I, I could just remove my head restraint so I could look, but could I do it with only one hand? I, des I decided that when time came, I would just go with instinct. So, you got a family or anything, Chuck? No, not really. I... My parents are, are around, and I see them every once in a while, and I have a few friends. No one really close, though. You? I have a girlfriend, and a kid, and the rest of the family. I really want to get back to them. I just got a new job, planning on getting a house. Things were going pretty well, man. Why did this have to happen now? Why does this have to happen at all? Why are people so fond of death? The life of someone like me against someone like him don't seem so fair. I still want to live though, I, I, I don't want to kill him, but I'm not going to offer myself as a sacrifice so he can live. The only thing a reasonable person could do is our plan. We talked for a while. He tells me about where he grew up, what things he did and what he does for a living, and how he met his girlfriend, about a wonderful daughter he had. He started getting all choked up, and then I took over. I talked about just anything, school, friends, my, my plans in life. We kept talking about the lives we very well might lose until we couldn't bear it anymore. We, we wait for what seems like an hour in silence. Still nothing happens. Hey, come on. We gonna sit here all day? I wanna see my kid again. I wanna get out of here. Mike, j just relax. Think about how you can get out of here. Think about getting your other arm free. Your head, your chest, your legs. Just, just think about that. All right. All right, I'm cool. He, he didn't seem so cool. We wait some more. Every time I look down, Mike seems to be getting worse and worse. I tried talking to him. I tried to get him out of his own head, but he won't talk back. I, I, wait, I wait a while, hoping that we can both be free of this accursed game. As I look at him, it feels to me that I've been here for years, just sitting here looking across the table. Eventually, he starts muttering, but, but and I can hear him. We just assume that we can get out of here. They can have us locked in. They can have people kill us the minute we walk out. I don't even know where we are. Could be in the middle of the desert or Antarctica for all I know. Hell, there could be someone six feet to the left and I wouldn't know. They could be listening the whole time and... Know what we plan to do. I don't even know what's holding me down. They might have to cut me out of here and there's no way to get out with just my one hand. Someone has to die. And I'm sure as hell it won't be me. Mike, focus. Just, just focus on getting out. No one has to die. I, I know it. You have to know it too. Twelve straps. That's it. We walk out finally free. Sorry, Chuck. I have a family. I've got more to live for than you. The restraint is released. I lifted up my right arm to the belt that is on my head and started undo it. I, I see Mike reach across the table. I, I, I knew I couldn't win. Don't do this. There's plenty of time. Don't, don't go to your family a murderer. Fuck you. 
The belt on my head is loose. I look down quickly. His hand is waving back and forth on the table, trying to find the gun. That's not there. <laughs> Five years, I said, standing up, reaching for the kill switch. Five years of endless variations. And they always reach for the gun.